Good morning, Eugen. I am Mahira. Let's begin the warm up session. Can you describe your experience working with pediatric patients? Certainly. I have extensive experience working with pediatric patients, including infants, toddlers, and adolescents, in both hospital and community settings. I am skilled in assessing and addressing their unique needs, communicating effectively with children and their families, and providing compassionate care to ensure their well-being. How do you handle challenging situations or difficult parents? When faced with challenging situations or difficult parents, I prioritize empathy, active listening, and clear communication. I strive to understand their concerns and perspectives while remaining calm and professional. By building rapport and fostering trust, I work collaboratively with parents to address their concerns and find mutually acceptable solutions that prioritize the best interests of the child. Can you discuss a time when you had to respond to a medical emergency involving a pediatric patient? In a previous role, I encountered a medical emergency involving a pediatric patient experiencing respiratory distress. I remained calm under pressure, initiated appropriate interventions according to established protocols, and coordinated effectively with the multidisciplinary team to stabilize the patient. Through swift and decisive action, we were able to provide the necessary care and support to ensure a positive outcome for the child. How do you stay updated on current trends and advancements in pediatric nursing? I am committed to lifelong learning and staying updated on current trends and advancements in pediatric nursing. I regularly attend conferences, seminars, and workshops related to pediatric healthcare. Additionally, I engage in ongoing professional development activities such as participating in pediatric nursing forums, reading relevant literature, and seeking out opportunities for continuing education to enhance my knowledge and skills. What do you consider the most rewarding aspect of working in pediatric nursing? The most rewarding aspect of working in pediatric nursing is the opportunity to make a positive difference in the lives of children and their families. Building trusting relationships, providing holistic care, and witnessing the resilience and strength of pediatric patients bring immense fulfillment. Being able to support children through challenging times, celebrate their milestones, and contribute to their overall health and well-being is truly gratifying.
you can now start your OET roleplay. Good morning, I am Eugene Hay, one of the nurses here in the community health center. How can I assist you today? Good morning, Nurse Hay. I'm quite worried about my little one. He's been feeling unwell lately, and I'm not sure what to do. I understand, don't worry, we are here to help you. Could you tell me his name and age, please? His name is Callum, and he is two years old. Thank you. Let's take a moment to talk about your child's symptoms. Could you please tell me more about what you've noticed? Well, he's been running a fever for a couple of days now, and he seems so tired and achy. He's been sneezing and coughing a lot too. Thank you for sharing that, Mihira. It sounds like your child might be experiencing flu symptoms. I would like to know about the treatment you gave him. I am really unaware of what to do. I just gave him plenty of fluids and a cold compress. That's okay. Based on what you've described, it does seem like your child has the flu. It's a viral infection that can cause symptoms like fever, cough, sore throat, and body aches. Mihira, could you tell me your understanding of the flu? No, this is the first time. I'm not really familiar with the flu or how to treat it. What about the child's vaccination history? He has not been vaccinated yet. I'm not sure about the required vaccinations. I understand your situation, Mihira. I'd be happy to help you understand the flu and how to treat it. The flu, short for influenza, is a viral infection that affects the respiratory system. It can cause symptoms such as fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, fatigue, and sometimes vomiting and diarrhea, especially in children. Each year, flu viruses change, so the flu vaccine is updated annually to protect against the most common strains. It's typically recommended for everyone aged six months and older to get vaccinated to reduce the risk of getting the flu or experiencing severe symptoms if they do get sick. The good news is that most cases of the flu can be managed at home. When it comes to treating the flu, rest and hydration are key. Encourage plenty of fluids like water, herbal teas, and soups to prevent dehydration. Over-the-counter medications like acetaminophen or ibuprofen can help reduce fever and alleviate aches and pains. However, it's important to follow the dosing instructions carefully, especially for children, and consult with a healthcare provider if you have any concerns. Okay, I'll make sure he rests and drinks plenty of fluids and provides ibuprofen. Is there anything I can do to prevent him from getting sick again? Of course, Mihira. It's great to hear that you're taking care of your child. Now, let's talk about the strategies to prevent future illnesses. Firstly, make sure your child is up to date on their flu vaccinations. This annual practice is recommended for everyone aged 6 months and older. Encourage good hygiene practices, such as regular hand washing with soap and water. Teaching your child to cover their mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing can also help prevent the spread of germs. Another important step is to minimize contact with people who have flu-like symptoms, especially during flu season. This can reduce the risk of exposure to viruses. Additionally, maintaining a healthy lifestyle with a balanced diet, regular exercise, and adequate sleep can strengthen your child's immune system making them less susceptible to infections like the flu. Mihira, currently try the treatment strategies we discussed, even then if your child's symptoms worsen or if you have any concerns about his health, it's important to schedule an appointment with your GP. They can assess your child's condition and provide appropriate medical care or advice. These combined efforts can help keep your child healthy and reduce their risk of getting sick again. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for all your help, Nurse Hay. You're very welcome, Mihira. Before concluding, let me summarize what we have discussed so far. Your two-year-old son, Callum, is showing symptoms of the flu, including fever, cough, and fatigue. While you've been providing him with fluids and cold compresses, it's important to consider further treatment options such as acetaminophen or ibuprofen to alleviate his symptoms. Additionally, 
we've discussed preventive measures like flu vaccination, good hygiene practices, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle to reduce the risk of future illnesses. Remember, if Callum's symptoms worsen or if you have any concerns, don't hesitate to seek medical attention from your GP.